Number three, to sterilize a 50 gram glass baby bottle, we must raise its temperature from 22 degrees Celsius to 95 degrees Celsius. How much heat transfer is required? All right, so basically, uh, whenever you're talking about heat transfer, all right, we're gonna first consider this uh, formula over here. This says that the amount of heat energy transferred, which is Q, will equal the mass of the object in which heat is being transferred to or from, multiplied by the specific heat of that particular object, multiplied by the change in temperature of that object. So if I'm talking about a glass bottle, then I'm talking about the heat, right, um, transferred into or out of, if the temperature is increasing here, obviously the heat's transferred into the bottle, right? It's not, the, the bottle is gaining heat, not losing it. And therefore, then I would need to know the mass of the glass bottle, specific heat of the glass bottle, and then the change in temperature of that glass bottle. Okay, that's all the whole consistency idea here. So um, in order to solve for Q, I got to know all those other three variables. So they tell us the mass of the bottle. It's 50 grams, but what do we know? We should probably convert that into kilograms just to get it out of the way. So you know that there's 1,000 grams in one kilogram. So that works out to be 0.5 excuse me, 0 0.0500 kilograms. Okay, great, there's the, there's the value. Uh, the specific heat then of glass, I have it on down here. You gotta look that up on the table, all right? That's the specific heats are uh, probably, either you're gonna have to memorize some key ones, especially water, that one's probably expected, but some of the other ones you might not have to memorize. And, uh, and then we're good to go. We know the change in temperature and you can leave, remember the temperature in Kelvin, uh, excuse me, in Celsius. You can convert it to Kelvin, but it's pointless. So now let's solve. So we have Q is equal to the mass of 0 0.0500 multiplied then by the 840, all right, uh, value of the specific heat, and then final minus initial here. So the final temperature is 95 minus that initial temperature of 22. And notice how this is gonna work out to be a positive value. Anytime Q is positive, that means heat is being gained. If it's negative, that means heat is being lost. It's that simple. So 0 0.05 multiplied by 840 multiplied now by 95 minus 22. And we get about 3,066. So about 3.07 times 10 to the third. And remember, it's heat energy and therefore it's in joules. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this helps. Please remember to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Take care.